If you don't remember who Brian Kemp is, allow me to refresh your memory. Brian Kemp is Georgia's current governor who stole the election from Stacey Abrams. As Secretary of State in Georgia, he used his authority to put up barriers that stopped people who wanted to vote, who would have likely voted for Stacey Abrams, from voting. And essentially what he did was try to get people to not vote because he knew that with this race being so close, the more people that voted, the less likely he would be to win. But he cheated, he won, and now he's the governor, and he's back in the news because he just recently signed a very controversial heartbeat bill into law, which is the most draconian ban on abortion yet. Now, as the Washington Post reports, Republican Governor Brian Kemp of Georgia signed a controversial heartbeat bill into law on Tuesday, outlawing most abortions once a doctor detects what some call a fetal heartbeat in the womb, usually about six weeks into a pregnancy. Kemp said he is upholding his promise to enact the toughest abortion law in the country. Now, what's the most obvious thing about this bill? It is brazenly un constitutional because the supreme court in roe v wade in a seven to two decision ruled that states cannot regulate pregnancies within the first trimester women have full autonomy over their bodies within that first trimester and this was affirmed in 1992 in kcv planned parenthood so he's going out of his way to regulate pregnancies in the first trimester knowing that this is unconstitutional. Ask yourself why he's doing this. Well, if you'll recall, last year, Brett Kavanaugh was confirmed to the Supreme Court, giving conservatives a strong five-justice majority. So, basically what he's doing here is he's passing this law that he knows is unconstitutional, and he's basically challenging people to sue him. You don't like this law? Sue me. Because what happens? They can appeal all the way up to the Supreme Court, and now with that strong five-justice majority, they can overturn Casey. They can overturn Roe v. Wade here. So, he knows that this law is illegal. But this isn't about the legality of this particular law. This is about getting abortion overturned, getting Roe v. Wade more specifically overturned in all 50 states. So that way, in the event states want to impose their own abortion laws like the heartbeat bill, they will now be able to constitutionally do that if he gets his way. So understand that this is what that's all about. This isn't about him signing this bill into law and fulfilling a campaign promise. He knows that he wants to catalyze a challenge to Roe v. Wade. He wants the challenge of the cases that upheld abortion. And what's sad is that this may actually be a successful strategy. This could ultimately be conducive to nationwide overturning of abortion laws. Now, let's just take a moment to picture what that would look like in practice if that actually happened. Let's say in 2021, the Supreme Court strikes down Roe v. Wade. They reverse course, move away from that precedent, and states now have the autonomy to regulate the first trimester of pregnancies however they want to, how many states do you think would just outright ban abortion? Within the first year, even. At a minimum, a dozen, but probably more. So, understand what they're doing here. This is strategy. He knows that this can't stand, but he wants it to be challenged because he knows that this ultimately will have a net benefit effect in the event he gets his way. It's tricky, but certainly it's disgusting. Because the reason why we allow women to have full autonomy over their bodies and the reason why the Supreme Court in Roe v. Wade ruled that states can't regulate pregnancies that early is because the fetus is still developing. It can't feel pain yet. And for you to tell a woman what she can or can't do with her own body is the biggest overreach of government Ever. But these small government conservatives don't care about hypocrisy because their hypocrisy is a feature of modern day conservatism. They don't care. It's just about getting their agenda implemented and they'll do it 
by whatever means necessary. So it's tricky, but um, or strategic is what I was trying to say, but um, it's dirty. It's absolutely dirty.